In this short video, I'll show you how to do the knitted cast on. It is stretchier than the long tail cast on and you don't need a long tail. So you just need a length of yarn that will allow you to sew in the end. So you make a slip knot and put it on your needle. And then you just insert your needle into this stitch as if to knit. You put the yarn round, pull up a loop, but you don't slide the loop off your needle, but you put the new loop back on. And then there are two ways of creating new stitches. You can insert into the new stitch, or you can insert between the uh, current and the previous stitch. And I think that creates a more stable cast on edge. So you just insert between the last two stitches, put the yarn round, pull up a loop, and then put this loop on the needle. And I don't really give much thought to how you put this uh, loop on the needle. You can I think you can do it both ways, but just do it consistently. And with both ways, I mean, if you put, put it on like this or like this, and one of the ways might make your cast on edge look a little twisted. But I think if you do it consistently, then it will look nice either way. And now you can just cast on for how many stitches you want. And this is also a very helpful cast on if, you, if you're already um, midway through your knitting project and you need some additional stitches, for example, for um, if you're knitting uh, top down, you've just done the uh, sleeve separation and you want some more stitches for the underarm, then you can um, add them like this. And that is how you do the knitted cast on.